MIPS Technologies, Inc., formerly MIPS Computer Systems, Inc., is an American fabless semiconductor design company that is most widely known for developing the MIPS architecture and a series of RISC CPU chips based on it. MIPS provides processor architectures and cores for digital home, networking, embedded, Internet of Things, and mobile applications. MIPS Technologies, Inc. is owned by Wave Computing, who acquired it from Tallwood MIPS Inc., a company indirectly owned by Tallwood Venture Capital. Tallwood bought it on 25 October 2017 from Imagination Technologies, a UK-based company best known for their Powerver graphics processor family. In turn, Imagination Technologies had bought MIPS after Siva, Inc. pulled out of the bidding on 8 February 2013. History. MIPS Computer Systems Inc. was founded in 1984 by a group of researchers from Stanford University that included John L. Hennessy and Chris Rowan. These researchers had worked on a project called MIPS for microprocessor without interlocked pipeline stages, one of the projects that pioneered the RISC concept. Other principal founders were Skip Stritter, formerly a Motorola technologist, and John Musuris, formerly of IBM. The initial CEO was Vaymond Crane, formerly president and CEO of Computer Consoles Inc., who arrived in February 1985 and departed in June 1989. He was replaced by Bob Miller, a former senior IBM and Data General executive. Miller ran the company through its IPO and subsequent sale to Silicon Graphics. In 1988, MIPS Computer Systems designs were noticed by Silicon Graphics SGI and the company adopted the MIPS architecture for its computers. A year later, in December 1989, MIPS held its first IPO. That year, Digital Equipment Corporation DEC released a Unix workstation based on the MIPS design. After developing the R2000 and R3000 microprocessors, a management change brought along the larger dreams of being a computer vendor. The company found itself unable to compete in the computer market against much larger companies and was struggling to support the costs of developing both the chips and the systems MIPS Magnum. To secure the supply of future generations of MIPS microprocessors the 64-bit R4000, SGI acquired the company in 1992 for $333 million and renamed it as MIPS Technologies Inc., a wholly owned subsidiary of SGI. During SGI's ownership of MIPS, the company introduced the R8000 in 1994 and the R10000 in 1996 and a follow-up the R12000 in 1997. During this time, two future microprocessors code named the Beast and Capitan were in development, these were cancelled after SGI decided to migrate to the Itanium architecture in 1998. As a result, MIPS was spun out as an intellectual property licensing company, offering licenses to the MIPS architecture as well as microprocessor core designs. On June 30, 1998, MIPS held an IPO after raising about $16.3 million with an offering price of $14 a share. In 1999, SGI announced it would overhaul its operations. It planned to continue introducing new MIPS processors until 2002, but its server business would include Intel's processor architectures as well. SGI spun MIPS out completely on June 20, 2000, by distributing all its interest as stock dividend to the stockholders. In early 2008 MIPS laid off 28 employees from its processor business group. 
On August 13, 2008, MIPS announced a loss of $108.5 million for their fiscal fourth quarter and that they would lay off another 15% of their workforce. At the time MIPS had 512 employees. In May 2018, according to the company's presence on LinkedIn, there may be less than 50 employees. Some notable people who worked in MIPS, James Bill Meyer, Steve Blank, Joseph Dinucci, John L. Hennessy, David Hitz, Earl Killian, Dan Levin, John Mashey, John P. McCaskey, Bob Miller, Stratton Sclavos, and Skip Stritter. Board members included, Bill Davido. In 2010, Sandeep Vidge was named CEO of MIPS Technologies. Vidge studied under Dr. John Hennessy as a Stanford University grad student. Prior to taking over at MIPS, Vidge was an executive at Cavium Networks, Xilinx and Altera. E Times reported that MIPS had 150 employees as of November 1, 2010. If the August 14, 2008 EDN article was accurate about MIPS having over 500 employees at the time, then MIPS reduced their total workforce by 70% between 2008 and 2010. In addition to its main R&D center in Sunnyvale, California, MIPS has engineering facilities in Shanghai, China, Beaverton, Oregon, Bristol and Kings Langley, both in England. It also has offices in HSIN Chu, Taiwan, Tokyo, Japan, Remscheid, Germany, and Haifa, Israel. During the first quarter of 2013, 498 out of 580 of MIPS patents were sold to Bridge Crossing, which was created by Allied Security Trust, with all processor specific patents and the other parts of the company sold to Imagination Technologies Group. Imagination had outbid Siva Inc. to buy MIPS with an offer of $100 million, and was investing to develop the architecture for the embedded processor market. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Company timeline. Topic: <laughs> 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 Products. MIPS Technologies created the processor architecture that is licensed to chip makers. Before the acquisition, the company had 125 plus licensees who ship more than 500 million MIPS based processors each year. MIPS processor architectures and cores are used in home entertainment, networking, and communications products. The company licensed its 32 and 64 bit architectures as well as 32 bit cores. The MIPS 32 architecture is a high performance 32 bit instruction set architecture that is used in applications such as 32 bit microcontrollers, home entertainment, home networking devices, and mobile designs. MIPS customers license the architecture to develop their own processors or license off the shelf cores from MIPS that are based on the architecture. The MIPS 64 architecture is a high performance 64 bit instruction set architecture that is widely used in networking infrastructure equipment through MIPS licensees such as Cavium Networks and Broadcom. SmartChay Connected Entertainment is a reference platform that integrates Android, Adobe Flash platform for TV, Skype, the Home Ginny Connect TV application and other applications. SmartChay lets OEM customers create integrated products more quickly. <laughs> MIPS processor core families The MIPS processor cores are divided by imagination into three major families 
Warrior, Hardware Virtualization, Hardware Multithreading, and SIMDM class, M5100 and M5150, M6200 and M6250 I class, I6400, I7200 P class, P5600, P6600 Aptive, microactive, compact, real-time embedded processor core, interactive, multiprocessor, multi-threaded core with a nine-stage pipeline, proactive, superscalar, deeply out-of-order processor core with high core mark per megahertz score. Classic, 4K, M1 4K, 24K, 34K, 74K, 1004K, multi-core and multi-threaded, and 1074K, superscalar and multi-threaded families. Topic: Licenses. MIPS Technologies had a strong customer licensee base in home electronics and portable media players, for example, 75% of Blu-ray disc players were running on MIPS Technologies processors. In the digital home, the company's processors were predominantly found in digital TVs and set-top boxes. The Sony PlayStation Portable used two processors based on the MIPS32 4K processor. Within the networking segment, licensees include KVM Networks and Broadcom. KVM has used up to 48 MIPS cores for its OCTEON family network reference designs. Broadcom ships Linux-ready MIPS 64-based XLP, XLR, and XLS multicore, multithreaded processors. Licensees using MIPS to build smartphones and tablets include Action Semiconductor and Ingenix Semiconductor. Tablets based on MIPS include the Cruise tablets from Velocity Micro. TCL Corporation is using MIPS processors for the development of smartphones. Companies can also obtain an MIPS architectural license for designing their own CPU cores using the MIPS architecture. Distinct MIPS architecture implementations by licensees include Broadcom's BRCM5000. Other licensees include Broadcom, which has developed MIPS-based CPUs for over a decade, Microchip Technology, which leverages MIPS processors for its 32-bit PIC32 microcontrollers, Qualcomm Atheros, MediaTek and Mobile AA, whose EYEQ chips are based on cores licensed from MIPS. Operating systems MIPS is widely supported by Unix-like systems, including Android, Linux, FreeBSD, NetBSD, and OpenBSD. Google's processor-agnostic Android operating system is built on the Linux kernel. MIPS originally ported Android to its architecture for embedded products beyond the mobile handset, where it was originally targeted by Google. In 2010, MIPS and its licensee Sigma Designs announced the world's first Android set-top boxes. By porting to Android, MIPS processes power smartphones and tablets running on the Android operating system. OpenURT is an embedded operating system based on the Linux kernel. While it currently runs on a variety of processor architectures, it was originally developed for the Linksys WRT54G, which used a 32 bit MIPS processor from Broadcom. The OpenURT table of hardware now includes MIPS-based devices from Atheros, Broadcom, KVM, Lantic, MediaTek, etc. 
Real-time operating systems that run on MIPS include CMX Systems, Ecocentrics Ecos, Aenea OS, Express Logics ThreadX, Freitas, Green Hills Software's Integrity, Linuxworks Linksos, Mentor Graphics, Micrium's Microcontroller Operating Systems, Micro C, OS, QNX Software Systems QNX, Quadros Systems Inc. SRTXC Quadros RTOS, Sega's Embos and Wind Rivers VX Works